book into fun with science. Now in today's episode, well, I'm going to show you Daikook and Mentos. Now, most of you, I'm pretty sure most of you would know what happens when you drop Mentos into Diet Coke and it turns into a huge geyser. So I'm going to show you how that happens and explain why. But I think I can do better and make a make a some sort of spectacular fountain using more than one bottle. Let's see how we do. Okay, so before I attempt to make a, um, a whole sort of fountain thing using what's a Diet Coke and Mentos, I'm just going to do a bench test first with this one litre and see how we go with these amendments. So first we'll the cap off. And you try and get all these mentals in at exactly the same time. Not as high as I wanted to be, but you can tell when I tried to put more metal in, it kept pushing it out. So there is a fair bit of pressure in there. So, the only thing now is to get all the die I've got and try out full scale. Well, not full scale, but lots of them. Okay, now it's time for my fountain display. We're using one litre and four 300 mil uh, die cuts. So these small ones are three metal each. And the big one should have about nine, which I take together so I can drop it all into one. So, let's just start opening these up. And try to get a captain display. Well, that is what I would call a complete failure at doing a simple experiment. So obviously there's something I'm not doing right and this is going to call for a revisit. But, you can try at home and see if you can get better results. Well, sorry about this kind of experiment guys. This is definitely going to be a revisit. Oh! Now we go. Here we go. It's time to do it now. Well, I guess it wasn't a complete failure. I got some results, but I was hoping for better. Look at it, all running all in there into the garden. Well, maybe you guys can try at home so you can get a more energetic result, but I still plan to revisit this. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.